Greetings fellow cycling enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel! I'm your host and today we are going to discuss an important topic – how to be the most comfortable and efficient during your descents. While a lot of us are targeting that big climb as our next challenge, it is important not to forget that descent is as important as the climb and here are some tips for landing a graceful descent. Why do my arms and hands get tired during descents? If you are experiencing fatigue in your arms and hands while going downhill, it's likely due to gripping the handlebars too tightly and tensely. Supporting your weight with your arms and holding onto the handlebars firmly can quickly lead to fatigue. Ironically, this won't help you downhill and might even prolong your discomfort because you may not be descending as fast as you could. How to prevent arm and wrist pain on downhills? The only thing you need to do is relax. I know that's easier said than done, shouting relax at riders who are nervous on descents doesn't necessarily help them. So here are some methods that may yield results. Build confidence. To build confidence, you should make it a specific focus of your training. Ride to a place where you feel the risks are relatively low, and you can descend at a relatively slow pace. Now, repeatedly ride up and down that hill. Don't focus on the physical effort of climbing, but rather familiarize yourself with the descent. Where are the turns? Are there any pothills to avoid? The process of practicing these descents will normalize what was once fearful and intimidating. Once you feel confident on one downhill, move on to the next, one that may be slightly trickier or faster, but not a giant leap. Repeat the same process over several weeks or even months, and gradually you'll find yourself becoming more at ease. Suddenly, you have built a repository of comfortable descents you can rely on in the future. Get into the zone. Descending is a skill that is about confidence and getting into the right mindset. To improve your downhill abilities, you need to practice it. It won't get better on its own. Treat it like any other skill, work on improving it, set clear cycling training plans and goals. Thanks for your watching! And if you like the topic, please subscribe our channel and give us a thumbs up. See you next time!